subscribe and click on the bell icon to be the first to see the latest video. Please find the full course information with YouTube special discount in the description below. Hello all welcome back in this one we will see how we can inspect disappearing elements or elements that just go hidden when we try to inspect them okay i have couple of examples to show you so right here on our practice page we have this auto suggest example this field when we type something it starts to show some options to select from right now if i open my dev tools right here and bring up this list as soon as i click on this inspector the list goes away right so it becomes a little bit difficult to inspect these kind of elements now this is my practice website and that's fine but i want to show you that this thing is pretty common on different websites like let's just take a look at youtube if i have this dev tools open and i click on the inspect tool the list goes away so it, it's a bit challenging right how can we resolve these kind of challenges i'm going to show you the two easiest way to resolve this challenge the first one is go to console and start typing set timeout and the console is going to provide you the option to see the spelling and the syntax but make sure you type it correctly s is small t is capital after that you need a parenthesis and under the parenthesis you're going to type function again parenthesis after this one open curly braces then you're going to type debugger and semicolon and then close the curly braces that we opened just after the function then after this curly brace you're going to type comma and at the end here you're going to type the number in milliseconds so i'm going to type 6000 6000 means 6 six seconds this is actually a lot of time we don't really need it probably you can just go around with 3 seconds and that's totally fine after that a semicolon so this is our complete statement set timeout function debugger and the time that you want to wait the debugger okay now as soon as you hit enter you're going to have 6 seconds to perform the action and bring the list of elements after that you have ample of time to just do anything and inspect the elements this is going to just freeze the page i'm actually just going to do 3 seconds here because usually 3 seconds is fine the reason i wanted to show you 6 seconds is if let's say you have some complex actions you can increase it and you know that you can increase it to any number so you can take your time i'm going to hit enter and start typing here and you see that in 3 seconds i typed this much and it stopped the page the page is frozen here it says paused in debugger until you press this blue icon the page is going to stay like that now you can come to elements you can inspect this it'll show you the complete dom here and the page is not going anywhere it is still frozen and you can inspect other elements the page is not going to go anywhere see like you can just literally inspect anything from this list and this is totally fine and it's going to show you the complete list of elements here now once you have the complete list of elements you can literally start typing the xpath here then try to build an xpath okay all these items exist inside a ul then there are li tags then there are a tags a tag is the actual one which has the text so what we can do is build a ul contains the class and we have one matching node so far then i'm going to do li then i'm going to do a tag and then i'm just going to simply find the element with the text okay so i build the whole xpath i can expand it this way ul contains class ui autocomplete li and then a tag with the text cypress automation if i hit enter it finds the first element in the list right that's pretty easy we can easily use this way to freeze the page and start building the xpath or the css now please don't forget to just click on it once you are done so that the page can be resumed back now we're going to take a look at the second way of doing it on youtube so that you gain experience of two different real world websites and obviously gain more confidence again here open the dev tools and right here type something i'm just going to type let's code it we have a list here but obviously when i try to inspect it it goes away now you come on the dev tools inspect click anywhere on this thing any element doesn't matter click anywhere here on your keyboard hit command shift and p for mac and control shift and p for windows it's going to bring up this pop up in front of run you're going to type focus and then you're going to select the second option emulate a focused page as soon as you do that you see the list came back 
and now if I inspect it the list stays here see it doesn't go away I can inspect any element and it's just gonna be here fine quickly let's just go ahead and try to write the xpath for this one so again we have a ul with the role list box so let's just try it out so far we found the ul element then we need to find the exact item that we want to click on under the ul element there are allies and then the actual text is actually inside the divs so allies and then there could be multiple divs okay let's take a look at another item so there are again one more div then there is a space practice so so there's like multiple nested child elements for these ul and li list so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say li it's gonna find all the four matching nodes right and then we're gonna say div contains and then in the contains i'm gonna type the text that i'm looking for so now when i did this it finds me two matching nodes right let's try to hit enter the first one is the last item in the list here it says one of two the first matching node is the last item in the list and then let's hit enter here and again this is also the last item what happens is it finds the top div which is actually the parent of the one which has the text we are saying div contains in this text and both the divs show up with this match because both the divs have this text this is just the parent right so what we can do is this is still gonna work but if you wanna like really find one matching node we can just copy this one put parenthesis here under parenthesis copy the xpath then add square brackets and then put number one or number two so if i put number two i'm gonna find one matching node which is the child element if i type number one i'm gonna find one matching node which is the parent div element okay pretty easy right obviously we're not learning how to build xpath here we're learning how to inspect disappearing elements and on youtube as well we saw that how easily we can freeze the list of items and inspect them build the xpath we can take whatever amount of time we need and it just works perfectly fine now the only thing with this option is again make sure you go back to that emulate option command shift p or control shift p type focus and then select do not emulate a focused page so put it back to its original state and so that your website can work right please let me know in the comments below what is the next topic you want me to make a video on please don't forget to like the video and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get the notification when we publish a useful video like this and thanks a lot for ending this one i'll see you in the next one thanks Thank you.